All right, you can treasure under here. These are my finds for 2016, mostly gold and silver. Uh, not a lot of coins. I've been really busy with work, so I didn't hunt a lot. But I just want to show you some items here that I did find, which I don't have no more. I had a gold ring there. I had a silver pendant, which I sold to my buddy. Uh, that the ring here with the teddy bears are gone. Well, actually, I don't know where it is, to be honest. Same with that... Um, St. Christopher, I can't find that one. I did sell that gold pen and 18 carat. That one's gone. I still have that one. That's the safety deposit box. That's a gold, gold ring, that one there. I found that actually in a house demo. And then also that silver ring was found in the house demo. Uh, this is my Facebook page, by the way. That's um, a lighter here, a Royal Canadian Air Force lighter. That was all sterling. So here are the finds that I have to show for now. Here's my best uh, ever um, pendant. It's a nugget pendant with diamond with chain found in the baseball field. Super happy about that one. Did get this 18 karat gold ring. Got a beautiful pattern on it. It's hard to see the pattern, but just a beautiful type ring. Almost like a diamond cut. Did get that other ring in the ocean. It had two uh, dissolved pearls that were just falling apart. They fell out. Here's another gold ring, 10 carats. It's got some floral design. Another gold ring. Uh, gold ring here is an old one. I'm thinking pretty old there. It's multicolored. It's got more than one, like two tone type gold. Uh, it was a little bit bent, so I put it through the size and it just broke right where the solder is. So I'm kind of sad about that one, but nothing special, but still, I believe it's 18 carat. I believe that one. No, it's uh, 14 carat, I think, that one. Uh, I got a coin here. Uh, from the Silver Sniffer, it was the second prize. I won a coin and a t-shirt, so I just included that because I was really happy. So, uh, Silver Sniffer, thanks very much for the coin and t-shirt. I appreciate it. When I get down to California, I'll bring you a shirt also, which I'll probably do in the spring. I was going to do it this winter, but hey, we're getting just a major snow here. It's been three weeks of ice and snow. Uh, so, unbelievable weather for this time of the year. Uh, kind of unusual. Did get this uh, chain and pendant together, silver. Found a watch of, during the fireworks. That's uh, just fake stone, just a cheapo. Uh, I got a really nice pendant there. My um, cross, like a kind of a medieval type cross. Cross um, that one was found in a baseball diamond. Uh, that's a silver, silver earring, silver ring. Here's a nice silver ring here. It's a sterling one. It's got a bit of a floral design. Hard to make it out, but it's quite a nice looking ring. Got a dragon ring, shaped like a dragon. Kind of a cool ring. A little bit bent. Needs to be straightened out. Got a little pendant there. A cross, which I'm not sure might be just plated silver. I'm not 100% on that one. I never tested it. Got a couple more silver rings. Uh, my clatter ring. Super happy about that. It's my first clatter. I found uh, no teching. Happy about that. I did get this uh, old ring here. It had a big ugly white stone that was falling apart. So it's just a piece of plastic. So I ended up breaking it out. I tried kind of getting it. It was kind of bent in a way where it was falling out. I tried to put it back in. It just fell apart. So I just chucked the, that part out. Another uh, silver ring. Silver again. Silver bands. That's silver. I got this off the beach. It's got kind of multiple tone colors, like it's silver. It's it's silver ring, copper band, silver band, and maybe a brass band. I don't think I don't think it'd be gold. I got the squished doll, dolphin ring. Another super nice ring. I was happy with that native carved ring. Nice butterfly type design ring. A very early uh, locket. The heart, probably turn of century. Did get a 1919 five cent coin, or sorry, 10 cent coin, 2016. I did get this in the Cultus Lake. I got a Benjamin Franklin half dollar, 1952. I did get more silver coins, but you know, I don't know what I did with them. I think uh, they just can't really seem to find them at the moment, but these were the highlights. Anything that was really decent, I, I put in a slab here just to protect it. Uh, I might have scrapped the other ones, who knows. I got this uh, 1940 40s locker tag from Cultus Lake. I found a few of them in the past, but I kind of like this one, so I ended up just putting it in the slab for now. Just kind of cool. 
Okay, now everything I'm showing you here is all house demo finds. All found during demolitions, uh, garbage removal, um, basic cleaning clutter. Uh, these are houses that are that are personally my own houses that I'm doing demolition in, and some are estates, some are full of trash, and you know, when you start moving junk around, you know, you do find stuff, but or it came out of furnace vents or in, in crevices or in a drain pipe or you know, anywhere. It could have came anywhere, but this is basically what I found. That's a gold ring, that's a gold ring. It's actually not even a diamond, it looks like a diamond, but it's nothing. That's a really cute uh, silver ring here. I just really like that one. It's some sort of opal, opalescence type stone. Silver ring there, silver ring. Hat pin, Russian hat pin. Had a bracelet, I thought it was silver. It just uh, looks probably like brass, but just, just a nice looking bracelet. Another bracelet here, it's silver. Cool looking bracelet. Uh, this is kind of a nickel ring, it's not, not uh, precious. A Pandora bracelet. I found three of those in one demo I did where there was in a bunch of garbage. I was rummaging through the garbage. They were just thrown in the garbage. A flat and silver ring found in a demo. More silver chains. I found this actually was in a, it was actually in this, this baggie here, but I took it out to show you. I guess someone bought it in Mexico as a gift or a pro and just left it behind. It was just in the garbage. I found this hat, um, not a, it's a tie clip, sorry, tie clip with a gold, it's gold filled, one tenth, or one twentieth gold filled. Silver ring with a blue stone, earlier one. Um, some sort of chain, these are silver pendants I found, various pendants I found during demo. I found this gold uh, ring was broken, demolition, another one from a demo, stone missing. Uh, did get a silver chain I found uh, it was a hoarder place it was in a warehouse there was so much garbage there and you know my workers are pretty keen they do find a lot of stuff but I tell you they're they were pick pick out the nickels and quarters and odd two near loony uh, so I was lucky to get this one I found this one and and I had one worker working there for like 20 minutes moving trash around and he missed it so I was happy with that one it's only like about maybe four or five dollars in silver uh, chain itself is in good shape but you know the silver value is very little it's like 50 or 60 cents a gram so it doesn't weigh up very much we found this uh war metal it's for servicing i think 100 hours or something like that it's a it's a, you have to do so much time in, in a war effort a volunteering the effort and uh, after a certain time they give you this metal it's a silver metal found this i was doing a rooming house and i was moving a, um, a dresser for the garbage and I heard a cling and it sounded like a piece of silver. And there was, this was what came out of the behind of the dresser. 1914. The one shilling. But it was in, in a dresser somewhere, I guess. Maybe it was in a crevice or something. Fell out. I uh, found this one, Meltecting. Actually, these two are Meltecting. That's Lord's Prayer. I kind of like that one. It's a spinner, Lord's Prayer. And here's uh, Toronto Maple Leafs. Uh, it's one of those championship type rings. It's a, it's a reproduction from I think 1932. It's one of those style rings. They're worth about retail 100 to 100 dollars or some of that. But I when I picked it up, I picked it up at the soccer field. It actually, was kind of like a soccer field, but it was also a baseball field together. And I thought, wow, I had a winner there. It was somewhat dark and it was heavy. And I thought, wow. But then I started reading date and all that. I said, oh, yeah, it's probably just junk. But you never know. You just gotta swing that loop, and sometimes you get very lucky. So uh, this is kind of what I found. I found way more stuff and demos than what I'm showing you. Uh, you have to constantly watch my videos to be up to date on the stuff I found on demos. I found many, many more gold rings. I found pins and all types of collectibles, tins, all just beautiful things. You know, stuff I try to save. Um, it's very hard, like I say. Nowadays we have so much demolition, everything's going to garbage, but when I get a house full of trash or it's a hoarder house, you know, then you have a chance of, uh, if it's an earlier house and they kept everything, you have a chance to maybe to get, you know, save history, you know what I'm saying? Uh, like I say, all this gold here is not uh, all my gold. I sold, I had three other gold rings I sold beginning of last year, I believe, or, or yeah, this, yeah, last year, beginning of last year, and I sold them, I traded them up for gold coins. Usually what I do, so I think I traded the three sil three gold ones for I don't know a couple coins or something. I'm not really sure, but 
Uh, this is some of the silver I found. Like I say, I sold some of my silver. For some reason, I can't find. Like, I just don't know where they went. I could have gave them to my daughter or who knows where it went. But see, like I say, treasure hunting does pay off. It's a fun hobby. You know, you just never know what you'll find. Just got to go looking around, rummage around in trash. And if you have uh, abilities looking at house demos or estate sales, you know, might get bargains also. There's also ways of finding treasure. It's not just, you know, metal tech thing. All forms of treasure hunting. I mean, I, I see uh, dumpster dive videos. And it is true, like I say, I, I do apartment cleanups. And they, they just throw everything in the bag and chuck it. They don't really care what's in it. I guess for liability reasons, they just throw it in the bag. And as, once it's in the garbage, they don't care. I found jewelry. I found just good, useful stuff. So it is true, dumpster divers do, do get a lot of good stuff. So anyways, uh, this is all my finds for 2016. All the, all, the, all the best in 2017. May all the gold and silver find your way. All the happiness and health. Uh, keep making all those great videos, you guys. I'm sitting here for hours a week watching you guys. Uh, I don't comment a lot, but when I do comment, if I have time, uh, just all the best. Please subscribe, share, and like. Have a great day. This is Canadian Treasure Hunter. All the best. Thank mm -hmm. you.